Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScope YouTube channel. Do you want to be able to use our filter between two or more columns in Power BI? Then stick around and I will show you how to do it. Now the purpose of this analysis is to evaluate the performance of employees. We can see the sales they generated and the target they need to reach. So here we want to give the user the possibility to use the standard filter, which is an end condition, or to use an OR filter between multiple columns. In our case, we want to filter two columns, employee name and category description. So let's take a look at our model first. We have three dimensions and two fact tables. The dimension calendar is related with the field dates, dimension employee with the field employee key, and the dimension category with the field category key. So, as you can see, the, rel the relationships are all active, which means that if we apply a filter in the report, by default it will act as an end condition. So, let me show you one way to mani manipulate how the filters are being applied in the report. Let's create some tables. The first one will be filter choice. This allows us to create a slicer for the user to switch between our filter and end filter. So, let's enter the data. and call it filter choice. Now we need to create a table for each dimension column that we want to filter. So one of them is the employee name, we will duplicate this table, and the other one is category description, so duplicate this one. We just need to come here in Advanced Editor and remove the fields that we don't need. So we don't need this field and we will keep the employee key for us to be able to relate with our fact tables. And we can call it employee name. We will do the same for the category description, remove the other field and keep the category key. This is the category description. Let's close and apply. Now we need to relate those new tables that we created with our fact tables. Those relationships will all be uh, inactive because we want to be able to manage exactly how the filter will interact with the report. So let's create it. Category description with our fact table sales and here inactive. Category description with sales target. And now for the other dimension, which is the employee name, with sales and employee name with sales target. And that's it. Now here we can go to our report and create our filter. So we can use this visual and here we will use this field that we just created from filter choice. We can just adjust a bit more here the text color for the user to be able to see. And here the selected color. We can remove the header and force the selection and remove multiple selection because the user can only select one of the option. So if you try to do this, you will see that it doesn't do anything. So we need to create our first measure. We can call it our filter measure. 
we need to create a variable for each dimension column that we want to filter. As you can see, we are using here the table that we just created in plain name and category description. And we are bringing the keys because this will help us filter our um, tables. Then this uh, function here will um, return the values that are being filtered in those tables. Then we need to create a variable for each filter type that we want to use. In our case, it is the OR filter and the AND filter. So starting with the OR filter, as you can see here, we are using the calculate and we put here a measure, for example, sales amount. And then we use the OR function where we apply the filter in our original dimensions, which is employee. And we apply this filter, employee name, and here the dimension category where we apply this filter in the category. So one thing uh, before we continue, since we are using a filter inside of the calculate here, what it does behind the scene is applying an all condition which will remove the filtered context. And since it is not what we want it to do, we need to add a function called keep filters. Now, let's try and see if this variable is working. As you can see, we have this error because inside of an R condition, we cannot have columns for multiple tables. So one way to work around this issue is instead of filtering each dimension, we can filter all our fact tables. So let's do that. And as you can see, the logic is really uh, similar, but we are applying the R in each of our uh, fact table, sales and sales target. Now that we have our R filter ready, we need to create the variable for the end filter, which is much easier because uh, we just need to activate the relationships of the new tables that we created. Then we need to understand what uh, is the filter that the user want to use. So uh, we can use uh, this um, function, selected value, and understand what was his choice. Then what we will return is this condition. If the user selected OR filter, we will return the variable OR filter. If it is not, we will return the logic of the end filter. So, as you can see, this measure is really limited because we, it is only working for the sales amount. It will not work for other measures. So, for it to work for all of the measures that we have in our model, we need to create um, our calculation group. And for that, we need to go to Tabular Editor. Let's create our calculation group. And our calculation item. The only thing that we need to do is take the logic that we just created here, paste in tabular editor and where we have our measure sales amount we will substitute it by the selected measure section which will return the measure in context context so it will work for all measures can save and refresh you will see that we have our calculation uh, group available here so we just need to move it and select our filters now as you can see we have here 
the columns from the original dimensions and we want uh, for us to use the one that we created so let's remove them and we will use the one from employee name and the one from category description now we can start testing let's switch this visual to a table and let's see an example an example for the R filter as you can see here Sophia don't have the category extra so as you can see we selected the R filter let's select the category extra as you can see it didn't do anything because what it is doing is uh, I want category extra or all employees and uh, the union of those two uh, selection is everything so we need to select also the employee name in our case we want to select Sophia so let's see here and as you can see the category is always extra except when we have Sophia so we have both selection here available now if we switch to the end filter we don't have anything because those two don't, don't have any match so let's remove the filter in the category and as you can see we have those two um, categories for Sophia, so let's select, for example, electric car. And that's it. So, that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed learning a bit more about filters. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.